Um, right now we're coming uh, here to show you how to do the binding of how to uh, initializing the helicopter flying. So batteries are inside with eight AA batteries packs. And then of course the uh, battery is already inside for the helicopter battery packs already charged and ready to go. Now initializing the helicopter is extremely uh, critical. If you don't initialize it right, the helicopter will not fly. And you will hear the sounds, but it's not gonna fly. The sounds of the servo moving, but no flying. Uh, you wanted to set the controller, everything in the middle, trimming, or uh, the three trimming, except for the up and down trim. Again, this is always at the lowest position. You never touch it up and down trim. And your left joystick, Again, initially, before you turn on the helicopters, this two location has to be all the way to the lowest positions. If you move it up a little bit, or if this is up a little bit, it will never allow you to do the flying. So initially, this is all the way in the middle, I mean, all the way to the lowest. So make sure that you have all the uh, axes ready. Um, make sure your body is away from the blade, and make sure there's nothing that's in between the tail blade as well. So you turn this on, and immediately you plug into the red connectors. Now you hear the sounds, beep beep. The first beep beep is not ready, and then you will hear the sound for the second beep beep. Okay, now it's ready. Um, you can see this is your forward, backward, sideways. Don't ever touch this. When you're ready to touch this, make sure you, are, you have a uh, big area to fly. Let's bring it down to the floor. If, if you notice, my hand always uh, holding the, the skid of the helicopters, just in case it, it takes off by itself by interference of frequencies, so you can always uh, hold it down. Your face is always away from the blade. You don't want it to be too close to the blade when you do the initializing. So just Common sense, make sure that this is away from you and not touching any type of material or your bodies. So let's get ready, let's bring this down. Um, you want orientation wise, extremely important. Forward, backward, pitch left, pitch right. The blade, you can just leave it uh, floating uh, centrifugal so it doesn't affect uh, how you start the operations. So this uh, also, one more thing before I started, you, want, you wanted to fly this on a smooth surface. Uh, no grass, no carpet initially. You wanted to have smooth surface so you can slide around. So you go up a little bit. You can see the tail is away from you. You want to hold it to the tail facing you. It, it will go side to side, forward, backward, when you are uh, with ground effect. So that's normal. You don't have to trim anything at this moment. When you fly, make sure your two hands are always in the controller. Your ground effect starts at zero feet to about three to four feet. So your helicopter will have a tendency to, sh uh, to swing, moving backward, forward, sideways. So that's, that's the normal behavior of the helicopters. So when you're ready to take it off, so you slowly take it off, and then take it off to maybe about three, four feet away from the ground effects. Then you will see how it performs, and then you do the trimming at the time. Landing, and then trim. Don't trim it while it's in the air. You cannot trim. It's very hard to trim while you're in the air, unless you know what you're doing. So land it first, and then you can do the minor adjusting, the minor trimming. Again, do not trim or move anything on, the, on this uh, left trimmer. This is always at the lowest position in all times. And when you're finished playing, you bring the helicopter back up. Make sure that you want it 
to unplug first before you turn off the radio. That's very critical. So unplug and then turn off the radio. That's how you finish the playing sequence.